y'all. Happy New Year. Y'all, I'm out. I was not intending to get out today, but I had to come out. Yesterday, right, this is what I did, y'all. I picked up some um, turkey necks. Well, I had a little grocery pickup haul. And I picked up some turkey necks from um, Walmart. And I got them home, right? And I'm like, I don't know what I was thinking. Y'all, this is the equivalent of two turkey necks in there, really. Who gonna cook two turkey necks? So, y'all, I was just so discombobulated. I had all kind of technical difficulties, right? Uh, so, I went to pay bills yesterday, right? And I was like, just paying, paying, paying. Because I only use my Bank of America account basically for bills. And, like, sometimes I'll keep enough on there for gas and groceries if I'm out with my debit card. Because, you know, I'm, I'm like, so I just didn't pay bills. And I went way over. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just on a bill paying spree. But, you know, fortunately, it's coming out today, schedules for the day. And um, I had time. Well, yesterday, Eden, I went to the bank. I went to the credit union to get the money to put in the bank to cover the bills. How about, and then I had a little check, too. How about the dawn? Every ATM wouldn't take deposit yesterday but luckily i went back this morning and it took it thankfully so y'all yeah i'm saying i'm gonna go and get me some more turkey necks right mm -hmm. but i wasn't going to walmart because they really too high at walmart for what you get so i said well i'm gonna go to cash savers cash savers on summer is closer to me where i live so i comes over here just as big now how uh, does anybody live in memphis know how long they've been closed because, my goodness, I get over there and rolls up on cash savers off of summer. Guess what? The, they closed. So, now I'm over here going over here off of Poplar. I'm going to try to go to, uh, what's this place over here? Super low. And I'm like, who closed on? What grocery store? Yeah, it didn't dawn on me when I saw them, like, the parking lot empty, right? I'm like, what grocery store closed on New Year's Day? Every, <laughs> everything open on New Year's Day. Just goofy is all I do, y'all. And so, honey, uh, yeah, they were closed. All the papers, paper on the wall. And I wonder what happened to the people that worked there. You know, and I, like I said, I don't really know how long they've been closed. It's been a couple of months since I've been over here to that cash savers. But my brother said they also closed the one over on Winchester as well. Oh, my goodness. This person, they trying to push their car into the thing. I don't think they realize they need to be in neutral three little young men they pushing the car so something happened where the car is not running oh well i tell you things happen anyway yeah back to what i was saying so they closed it down don't y'all hate when uh they close these we were talking about that yesterday about you know you live in the areas you have to be careful about where you live because then you become into a uh, um an area where you know was doing fine one minute and then it becomes a desert you can't really you know get to the grocery store and that's what happened in a lot of these neighborhoods you know it becomes a grocery store desert you know people can't and don't have access to fresh produce and everything else that's what happened in a lot of these lower income neighborhoods but this this is really not a lower income neighborhood you know and it's just sad that <coughs> good grocery stores come here we were talking about how people are, you know, how the grocery stores are getting to the point and all these retailers, brick and mortar retailers are getting to the point where they have to do something different in order to be able to compete with um, Amazon, you know, who offer the grocery services and everything now. You know, you, you pretty much can just order everything online and get it delivered to your home, you know, with food um, services, the meals, the delivery services and everything. If you know if you have the means to do so. But anyway, that's enough of my jibber jabber. Oh y'all, for this month's giveaway, there will be you you know I'm big on um saving money. I didn't do too well last year, y'all. I did pay some stuff off so I don't feel so bad because that's where a lot of my money went that I intended to save. I would have had it sitting there, but I used it to pay out down some debt. 
Uh, so I don't feel bad about that. But I didn't reach the goal that I wanted to reach. So I did set me some more goals for this year as far as savings is concerned. And I want everybody to, you know, if you didn't reach your goal, if you did something, you had something, then congratulations. If you didn't, that's okay. Shake it off. It's a new year, a new you, and you're going to get it going this year. Just say it that way. And what uh, this year's goal will be a savings goal. There will be two $25 winners to put towards your savings um, this year. And, um, you know, the only thing you have to do, that today will be one of the uh, videos, you know, the winners will be announced on the 21st. And the money will be uh, deposited. You would need to have, um, what's it, the cash app or the um, a PayPal account to receive your winnings. But there will be two $25 winners this month. And what you will need to do is comment on this video. And I will also post up another video of a grocery haul. It's gonna, I'm going to put my grocery hauls, my pickup from last night, and what I get in super low today. But you will need to comment on this video or either the next uh, grocery haul I uh, post in the month, the next one. I think it might, I know for sure it will be another one at least. And the next one. And you will have, um, just tell me what you do to save money when you grocery shop on the one today. Um, or how you, you know, plan on saving money during the year. You know, do you use coupons? Do you shop all over the city at three or four different uh, grocery stores on the sales ads or whatever? Just put something about down about how you save, you know, at the grocery store or when you're shopping. Oh, by the way, I know that Dillard's has this big sale and a lot of people, you know, tend to tend to uh, get, uh, get uh, a lot of stuff, you know, on Dillard's, you know, it's a lot of name brand type things at Dillard's, you know, so do you all go to the Dillard's on uh, New Year's Day to do your major shopping by your, say your money, you know, after Christmas to do your thingy thing with your shopping and all of that? I'm rolling up over here now. It looked like a lot of, oh, they gonna close that uh, Target over there by me. I told y'all that on Drum Time Park where my, my co-worker said they starting to mark stuff down now, so if anybody over there, I'm over here on for Colonial now. I like this Target, but I'm not going in Target. I like Target. But I'm not going in either one of them. I'm over here to come over here to Super Low. Yeah, lady, come on, y'all. Come on across the street with y'all little shopping. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to catch you back when I get myself over here in Super Low. This camera was getting ready to take a little, little tilt. And I caught it. Oh, I thought I caught it. Anyway, y'all, I'll catch y'all when I come out the grocery store. Bye. Y'all, I'm over here, but they don't have any size of anybody I know. They need them. But these are nice little t-shirts for a dollar. Long sleeve t-shirts for a dollar. Then they got the 50% off Christmas. I don't need none of this stuff. You see how I'm all up in here. Good morning, Happy New Year. I got a little baby basket, y'all. Cause I ain't supposed to be in here for nothing. But guess what? Look at all this. They just got all this up here. Y'all remember these? They used to be real though. These cardboard. They used to come in the tin cans. y'all. I tell you, we can't get rid of not one holiday. They already got that on Valentine's Day candy out. What kind of cracker neck of bull is this? Anyway, y'all already know. They don't have no price on it. But that's a good little mix like if you had children in school, the little chip box for their little lunches. Huh. I really want some strawberries. Hmm. Hot food. I'm over 
here in the produce aisle now. Let me get me a box of these. That's not bad. 99 cents for these. That's a good deal. Hmm. I'm gonna get some of that. Now, I, no, no, I didn't come in here for that. No, I didn't. Came here for some turkey mix. But hey, what the heck? Y'all. I bought a can of, uh, of uh, Glory Greens. Those bad greens are cheaper in here than they are in Walmart. They three forty nine dollars in here. Huh. This is super low, y'all. I'm just kind of walking y'all around here so y'all can see. Oh, no. I wanted some strawberries for my salad, but y'all can see right now. That is ridiculous. I don't know if y'all can see. They food sent me now. Guess what I want to have in a day? Strawberries. Really, this look like it just as many in here. And they three something. Three dollars and something. But that's still a little bit too steep. You know how you get cheap. That watermelon probably ain't no kind of sweet job. chicken backs. My mama used to fry chicken backs when we was a little girl. And we were talking about that the other day. About chicken backs. I do the chicken backs, but not no chicken feet, y'all. Not no chicken feet. No, sir. I'm going to have to wait. Bacon is not on sale right now. I'm gonna have to wait till they go back on sale. Mm -hmm. These are smoke turkey. I don't want no smoke turkey wings. I want regular turkeys. It looks like I might have to go back to Walmart, mess around here. I can't get what I need up in here. Keep it real. Keep it all the way real. 
and got my menace takes today you know but y'all see they have a nice meat selection everything looks so nice oh this is some cute steak Hey y'all, I'm out the store. Mm-hmm. I managed to get out of there. I picked up four items. Uh, three of them I didn't come for. Uh, I picked up a thing of crackling too with them, you know. I spent, let me see what I spent here. $12.43. When I should have came in here for them darn turkey necks was $4.23. That would have been just fine. So I stopped at the customer service. People don't have no patience, by the way. I came to the customer service right uh, counter. And so I was going to get me a mega, not a mega ticket, but the mega million up, which I already got one of those tickets to like 400 or something million. The guy in the store had printed off one yesterday, and I just told him I'll take it. You know, so I already got that. So I was going to get me a Tennessee cash because it's up to 700 k which is fine by me for Wednesday's draw and so since I was in there so I wouldn't forget and it's a dollar ticket you know so I got was in line to get that right uh and so basically the woman pulled up and she said what are they doing back there I'm like look lady you just pulled up uh, you know you're standing here for one minute 
Just calm down. Well, there's two of them back there. Well, that don't mean the two of them are working. One just might be back there doing something else. I said, you know, you just pulled up, lady. So I said, well, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Y'all know I'm silly. So even the clerk, I'm like, who comes to work in just a South Puss mood? Lady, it's the morning time. If you start your day out this way, you're going to be in bad shape for the rest of the day. I mean, you're going to have to get some pep and joy. You know, it seemed like customer service. You greet your customers kind of happy. They smile and you smile back or something. I know you might come to work where you don't feel like it or sometimes, but if you just change your attitude, maybe have a smile on your face or something. You know, I was going through some stuff at work. Lord knows I was, but I never treated my coworkers any way. You know, if they come out came to my desk, I don't care how it was. Even my manager, how you doing today? You know, I was always pleasant. I mean, good grief. You know, and I still got the same issues at work, but I still come to work in a joyful mood. I try to be, you know, even though I'm going through it in days I'm stressed, I still try to pe treat people right. But anyway, y'all, that's enough of my little rigmarole. I'm going to put my uh, grocery hauls at the end of the uh, thing. And so y'all remember to comment on this because, like I said, it will be two $25 winners towards your savings goals. You have to have the cash app or PayPal to win. Um, this month and the winners will be announced by the random draw picker that I use the comment picker on the 21st And y'all remember you're going to come in on this one and it'll be another grocery haul later in the month And y'all know this is how I announce the monthly giveaways But anyway, I want y'all to know y'all loved I love you, but God loves you the most Remember to always be kind to yourself and others be joyful and be blessed and y'all Have a wonderful blessed prosperous May you be abundantly blessed with joy, love, happiness, great health, great wealth this year of 2019. May you reach all your goals. I love you more. Bye. Hey, y'all. I stopped at Walmart for a few little items. I got some turkey necks, which I'm going to fix tomorrow. Um, Yeah. I don't know why I got one pack because that's virtually just two necks. Um, some broccoli, two bags of broccoli. A thing of broccoli cauliflower, some mesquite turkey breast, some shredded cheese, a bag of spinach, some boneless skinless thighs, because I think I got two left. And I need I want some greens, but I just didn't feel like fixing any. So got the next big thing, one can of glory greens, some mini peppers, beef fajita strips, thing of eggs, some Roma tomatoes. I got one English cucumber, some sour cream, a green leaf lettuce, onion powder, garlic powder, and a thing of Coke Zero. That's just a quick little Walmart pickup. I need to, um, I'm probably going to have to get back out tomorrow because I know that one little thing next is just a waste of cooking one thing. Ugh. So, yeah, guys, these are the four items I got from Super Low. The cherub tomatoes, the turkey necks, some crackling, and the two steaks. And I'm getting ready to wash up those turkey necks and the ones I got yesterday and put them in the crock pot. Season them and put them in the crock pot. I hope y'all have a blessed day. Bye.